It's 2019, and women have come a long way from the days of being stereotyped as overly emotional and dependent on a husband. Today, women are encouraged to follow their dreams and achieve their goals, even if that means holding off or not even ever settling down. And that's because it's all about independence. Today, it's not out of the ordinary for women to aspire to be doctors, lawyers, pilots, engineers, writers. Okay, you get the picture. The point is, women are smart. And they're not letting things like the pressure to get married stand in their way of doing what they want. The 21st century woman doesn't need a partner to do things. With resources and education at her fingertips, there's really nothing holding her back from getting things done. In fact, the tables have completely turned, and today a majority of college students, 56% to be exact, are female, at least according to recent numbers from the Department of Education. In the past, it was often thought that women were better suited for housework and raising children, while men were better equipped to handle a job and the finances. But today, if a woman needs to know how to do something traditionally masculine, like fixing something under the hood of the car or taking on a home renovation project, she can easily learn how to do it herself thanks to a sea of information online. And if she doesn't want to do it herself, she can easily hire someone, whether it's a man or another woman. Guilt-free me time. After a particularly hard work week or a stressful event, do you ever wish you could just be alone and do whatever you want? Whether it's a Netflix marathon of your favorite shows, a good book, or just your own personal spa day at home, it's called me time for a reason, and anyone, whether you're a guy or a gal, can take part. Traditionally, women used to be expected to tend to everyone else in their family before themselves. For example, in 1950s America, a woman's primary task was to clean the house, take care of the kids, and have dinner ready for her husband when he got home from work. Doesn't exactly leave her much time for doing whatever she pleased, now does it? But nowadays, some well-deserved me-time is no longer a guilty pleasure or a sign that a woman isn't tending to her role as the family's primary caretaker. Plus, having time for hobbies or just relaxing and doing nothing is actually recommended. According to Happify.com, taking time for yourself has incredible health benefits. It can help reboot your brain, improve your concentration, and sharpen your problem-solving skills, among other things. With that much-needed mental rest, women today can accomplish so much more. Thank goodness the times have changed, am I right? Emotional strength. In the past, a popular societal belief was that men were able to handle their emotions better than women. Actually, men were considered more rational and even smarter. That was also a way of saying that women weren't capable of doing a lot of things men could do, like handling the stress of a job or even vote. Since this gender stereotype was widely believed for so long, many women believed it to be true as well. After all, you don't know any better when something is considered a norm where you live. Women used to have to hide behind men to do things, like publish a book, for example. Many female authors used pen names that sounded like men so they'd be taken more seriously. Famous novelist Louisa May Alcott used the pseudonym A. M. Barnard early on in her career. Sure, women being more emotional is just a stereotype, but is there any truth to it today? Well, neurologists at MindLab found that when emotionally stimulated, men are actually more sensitive than women. They're just better at hiding it. In the study, participants were divided up into two groups, one consisting of 15 mothers and the other 15 fathers. They were asked to watch videos while their psychological responses were monitored. These videos were categorized into four types, blissful, exciting, heartwarming, and funny. And with an exception to the heartwarming category, men seemed to have marginally stronger reactions. As for the heartwarming videos, the men were actually twice as responsive. MindLab's director, Dr. David Lewis, explained that the study suggests men feel just as much, if not more, emotion than women, but they're not as willing to express it publicly because of how society expects them to act. Redefining relationship norms. Whether they choose to get married or just have long-term relationships throughout their life, women do what they see fit for their own lifestyle. Women no longer have to balance their work and home life if they don't want to. 
But if they choose to have a relationship with someone, or even have kids, it doesn't necessarily have to infringe on their career. For example, some women are more comfortable living with their partner and don't feel the need to get married. The point is, no matter what they end up doing, it's their choice, and they can base these choices around their own needs. The pressure's finally off. Keeping standards high If you've continued to work hard your whole life and always aim for the stars, why would you settle for a partner that keeps you from doing that? Well, that seems to be the sentiment many successful women have today. If they choose to be with someone, it's a person who supports them and their goals, and who holds them to as high of a standard as they do themselves. And if they can't find a partner who fits the bill, then staying single is a totally fine option. Successful women are too busy getting things done, and they know their own worth. They don't have the time or desire to be with a partner that puts them down or is unsupportive. Women now know better and let themselves be picky about their significant other. They don't settle for someone just because it's better than being alone. Not to mention, dating isn't as taboo as it was in the past. Up until the early and even mid-20th century, women who dated well into their 40s and 50s were seen as spinsters or old maids, and were frowned upon since they couldn't manage to land a man. But today, the dating culture is alive and well, allowing women to meet different people and not settle for someone because they're too embarrassed to date around and see what's out there. Single and ready to mingle is a phrase many smart, successful women can relate to. Fairy tales are just that, fairy tales. Remember when you were a kid with your nose pressed up against the TV screen as you watched Disney princesses getting swept off their feet by a strong, handsome prince? Well, there's nothing wrong with liking fairy tales when you're a child, but the whole waiting for Prince Charming thing and teaching little girls the same mentality has definitely been left in the past, and for good reason. Women today understand that they don't need a prince or a man to make their life complete. You don't need to be saved or anything like that, because you're confident and competent enough to run your own life and make your dreams a reality. While it's important for today's women to be true to themselves and go for what they want in life without depending on a partner, it's also okay if they do desire to have one. That's the beauty of the progressive society we live in today. Each woman is her own person with her own thoughts, her own desires, and probably, most importantly, her own choices. If being with someone makes her happy, great! If being single allows her to focus on her goals more, fantastic! And some women choose to balance both, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you need a little inspiration, look no further than actress Emma Watson. At 28 years old, Watson is not only an incredibly successful and talented actor, she also has a BA in English Literature from Brown University, training from Worcester College at the University of Oxford, and serves as a UN Women Goodwill Ambassador. She's a shining example of what a woman can accomplish thanks to her own strength and intelligence. Watson isn't married, and even if she does decide to tie the knot one day, that would be her choice as a free-thinking woman in the 21st century. Now it's your turn down in the comments. Why do you think women are choosing to hold off or just not even sign up for the married life? I'd be interested to know what you think. And don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life.